Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews. Uh, we're going to go over a custom ROM for the uh, Nexus 6P, which is Angler. Uh, this ROM is AEX or AOSP Extended and it is by MiniDude 2012. It's got quite a few custom features to it, not over the top, uh, but just enough to make your phone special. <laughs> so it's not stock. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this. As always, remember to like, share, and subscribe. You hit that notification icon to get a notification of my videos as soon as they're released. That way you don't miss any of them. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get into this. This is AEX uh, by MiniDude2012. Uh, that is his XDA thread. Um, he is the OP of that thread. Um, we're going to get right into this again. This is for the Nexus 6P or Angler. Uh, we're going to go into settings. And guys, I am running an onboard theme. I'm not running Substratum. I have tested Substratum. It is working perfectly. So we're going to go ahead and go into system. And then about phone. Um, again, as you guys can see, this is AEX. It's for the Nexus 6P. Uh, I don't have my sim in it uh, just for the video, but I did test uh, calling, MMS, um, texting. Everything works perfectly. Phone calls are nice and clear. I had no problems with any of the issues uh, as far as calling and texting and stuff like that. Uh, again, I'm running the supplied kernel on this. Remember, guys, this is an AOSP-based ROM. Uh, it is very close to stock, but it does have a few features in it. Uh, and we are going to go over those custom features. So we're going to go back. I am running the uh, Pi uh, swipe features on it, uh, which to go back, I just give it a little swipe like that. Uh, if you swipe left, it's a back gesture. Uh, if you swipe uh, up, that gives you your recents. And I am running the uh, Pi recents. And guys, uh, do you notice how close this looks to iOS? <laughs> Google, the more updates they get, the closer they get to looking like Apple. Um, again, guys, I went to Android when I got my first phone because I liked the customizations, the ability to customize my phone that Android offered. And now uh, it's getting to the point where they just want to be like iOS. At least that's what I think, and those are my opinions. So we're going to go ahead and scroll up. And uh, the custom features are in extensions. We're going to go to extensions. Uh, first up is going to be your status bar. A status bar items basically lets you, lets you pick and choose what you want uh, to show on your status bar. Next up, status bar battery style. You can pick uh, what battery you want on it. Uh, they have portrait, circle, dotted circle, text, and hidden. And I am running the uh, dotted circle. Uh, battery percentage you can have it hidden next to the icon or inside the icon and I have it uh, next to the icon we're going to swipe back next up is going to be uh, the traffic indicators if you guys want to run with that it basically shows uh, traffic coming in and out on your status bar um, so it's a nice feature to have miscellaneous extensions miscellaneous extensions <laughs> Uh, you have your roaming indicator, uh, show 4G icon if you want to show that instead. Uh, show Volt icon if you guys are running Volt. I haven't tested it on here. I have said in the past, guys, I don't test Volt. I don't use it. Um, and I do have Verizon, and Verizon is not known for Volt working very well on any of their devices. So uh, it is what it is. I do know, I think Volt works on my Pixel 2 XL. I can't promise you, but uh, again, that's something I don't test. Uh, you may want to check the threads out for that. Uh, last but not least is going to be your gesture status bar double tap uh, to uh, put the, the device to sleep. We're going to go back. Um, clock settings. Uh, they do give us the ability to put the clock to center if you guys want. You can go left, right, or center. Uh, I like the center uh, clock. They do give you AM style, AM, PM style if you want it. And uh, show seconds. And then, of course, you have your date, date style, and date format. That's pretty much it for the 
uh, the status bar custom settings. So we're going to go back, we're going to go into the notification panel, uh, quick settings, you have your brightness slider, brightness slider on button, vibrate on touch, uh, your, your uh, quick settings, footer warnings, uh, and then your pull down. If you want to have your quick pull down on right, left, uh, off, or always, uh, these are your choices for that. Smart pull down, I run with it off, but you guys can turn it on if you want. And then, of course, you have opacity. I have mine running solid, so if I pull that down, you can't see through it. Uh, you can change that by just changing this slider. Whoops, let me go back into there. By just sliding this slider like that, notice that you can see through it slightly. So we're going to go back again. Uh, notifications are up next. Uh, heads up they do give us the ability to shut that off thank you very much but if you was to turn that on these are your settings accordingly I'm gonna go ahead and shut that back off I really hate heads up uh, then then you have your battery charging light and your notification lights which you guys can change however you want uh, just by going in there and uh, making your changes And let's see, we're going to go back, and next up is going to be navigation. Uh, basically, nav bar, allow nav bar, uh, nav bar tuner, and they do give you pulse, uh, which is weird. They don't give you a choice to switch between uh, the other ROMs, like the other ROMs have, uh, you know, the status bar. And I can't think of what the two differences are right now, but, uh, uh, you know, you're using all your swipe gestures or just using uh, the normal. Uh, but these are your settings and they do at least give you pulse and let's see next up is going to be recents here's your recents UI basically um, I choose Pi you can choose Oreo if you go to Oreo it's gonna to have to do a system UI restart uh, which is fine just let the device uh, restart itself swipe up now if you hit your recents you have the Oreo uh, Rolodex style and if you want to go back to Pi just click on Pi let your device do another system restart and uh, you are going to be back into your Pi recents so that's working uh, good on this ROM and I do know that the other videos I did um, the uh, everything was working great now notice that switched me back to my uh, normal navigation uh, as opposed to the swipe and I don't know why I did that uh, let's see. Let's go back into navigation. I want to, uh, let me see, navbar, tuner, pulse, allow navbar, I don't know. Uh, I'll change that in gestures. So next up is going to be, I think we went over recents, right? Yes, we went over recents. My bad, guys. Uh, next up is going to be lock screen settings. Uh, you do have your lock screen UI. For those of you that want to change things on your lock screen, by the way, guys, face detect, auto detect works great on this. I don't put, um, I don't put any type of lock on my device, but I did want to test face unlock because I know a lot of you guys use it, and it works great. Uh, it's very quick and it does work. Now, in really, really low light conditions, not so good, but then that's why you have a backup pin. But I just want to let you guys know that it does work very good. Uh, you do have your lock screen shortcuts. Um, this is what they give you, general lock screen tuner, left and right shortcut. Um, last but not least is going to be system, your general tweaks. Uh, toast icon, you know, if you want to have a uh, an icon show whenever your toast uh, you know an app icon shows whenever your your toast pops up uh, you go ahead and turn that on I like that feature uh, and then of course you have suspended actions and then buttons is up next uh, power menu quite a few options on the power menu uh, I do like that you guys know me I like using my power menu for everything so I'm kind of glad they give us all those settings and as you guys can see I had that all ticked on uh, screen off power uh, torch I do run with that uh, and I usually set mine for one minute to automatically shut off that way if I inadvertently hit it in my pocket it's not going to burn up my battery 
Uh, let's see. You have your volume rockers. Uh, you guys can adjust them however you like. I don't do any adjustments on those. I leave them just the way they are. But again, you guys can go to town on that. And that is it for the custom settings. Um, I will hit display real quick just to get down through and show you the theme uh, settings. You have to go under advanced. Uh, I'm going to scroll down to uh, an ambient display. It's I have it. I have all mine turned off, but it's saying that I do have it on. Uh, now, underneath the let me see where is the ambient? Yeah, themes are going to be up next. Um, I do have this turned on to allow uh, the system themes to override or run alongside Substratum. Uh, and again, it, it does work great. When you run Substratum, you're not really changing this much. Uh, you're just changing the apps uh, and things like that. Uh, UI style, I am running black UI, but you could go with, like, say, the chocolate. And on this ROM, I noticed uh, that the chocolate does work very well. So we're going to go back into settings again, and you'll notice that the color is going to change. And now you have, like, a, a, like a grayish chocolate colored background. Um, I'm going to go back into that, and we're going to go ahead and pick um, the light UI, which is uh, which is the, the default setting. Actually, it comes set up uh, to run with your uh, with your wallpaper, uh, but I'm going to pick the light UI just so uh, you guys can see what it looks like as flashed. Uh, I'm going to go with the uh, the default color. Uh, so this is going to be what it looks like as flashed, guys. Here's your dashboard options, and of course, uh, density options. Uh, we're going to hit sound real quick. These are your sound settings. Go underneath advanced, and these are the settings for your uh, advanced sound. Uh, security and location. Remember, um, I am running uh, unencrypted, uh, but... Even if you want to stay encrypted, and I'm not sure if this ROM uh, supports that, you're going to have to read the OP on that. It wasn't very um, thorough uh, in its uh, explanation on that, um, but you are going to have to format your uh, data partition after you flash this ROM. It's uh, suggested in the OP. I did it when I flashed uh, the ROM. I highly suggest you do the same. Um, and that's it for security and then of course all the way down under system if we go into gestures um, we're going to go ahead and turn turn this back to uh, swipe fingerprint no I don't want that uh, let me see swipe up on home screen we're going to turn that back on and we are now back into uh, the home screen uh, for Pi, or the navigation bar for Pi so there you go that's how you turn that back on and off uh, they do have a lift to check phone I have mine shut off you guys can turn that on as well uh, and then under advanced, you're going to have developer options. Uh, so if we go into developer options, these, of course, are all of the developer options. USB debugging, so on, so on. Um, and they are, I will tell you guys that under uh, the animations, uh, the animations are all set to 1 by default. I shut all my animations off. That just really speeds up the phone. It makes it nice and fluid. Uh, everything kind of switches really 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 quickly whoops I don't want to do that um, nope I don't want to do that I'm trying it, it switches very fast though. so you guys can see the ROM runs great uh, I did want to show you guys what it looked like as flashed so I did take a screenshot of the apps that come as flashed and they are right here these are the apps that come as Flash. Now, I did uh, Flash the Nano version of uh, um, the uh, Open Gaps. Uh, you want to make sure that you use the x86 um, and uh, 9.0. So make sure that you guys have that cho chosen. Uh, that would be ARM uh, 86 uh, and then choose 9.0. They recommend the Nano. Uh, and you know that's what I would say guys go ahead and use don't mess around with that because sometimes if you don't choose the right one uh, it will really mess up uh, your Google Apps and nothing will work so that is pretty much it guys this is AEX or uh, AOSP extended uh, it is an awesome ROM so far it's more on the uh, stock side than anything else 
Um, I could go through the whole list of features, but if you guys go to the XDA thread, uh, again, the uh, the OP of that thread uh, is uh, Min Mini Dude 2012. Uh, but if you go through there, there is a long list of features uh, that is built into it. A lot of them you can't switch around. They are built right in. But I am running the supplied launcher, well, Pixel Launcher, because that's what came with uh, the apps that I flashed. Um, if you want to run the uh, launcher that comes with it, again, you would go back into your settings and then uh, scroll down to apps and notification. Then you want to go down to uh, advanced. You want to pick default apps and then go to where it says your home app. Uh, your home app, you pick the quick step launcher, which is the uh, default launcher for them. Uh, and this is your quick step launcher. Again, you have to do the double swipe in order to get into your app drawer. Has like a semi-transparent, uh, at least on the light. Uh, the uh, the light theme has like a semi-transparent look to it. But that's it, guys. Um, battery life seems to be very good. Uh, I've run this ROM for about three days straight. Uh, no problems whatsoever. Uh, I can highly recommend this ROM to run. You know, for you guys that want to run a uh, not over the top custom ROM. Uh, I can highly recommend it, and I've had no issues with it whatsoever. So uh, make sure that you guys uh, like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell next to the uh, subscribe so that you receive my videos as soon as I release them. Uh, again, guys, I'm going to be trying to put out a lot of videos uh, in my spare time, and I've got a lot of spare time lately. So I want to thank all of my subscribers and anybody else that might uh, be subscribing to me new, uh, and I will see you guys on the next one.